How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator Survival Series. So we are on route to Prim. Well, we're just about to start actually. And uh, we can have a quick look at the map. Everything looks good there. Get straight on the motorway. Straight through there. Going through Kingman over here. Getting off up through Vegas, which is great. And um, from there down to Prim, which is perfect. We're going to drop off there, and then we're going to go back up to Las Vegas and take our loan and buy that uh, depot down there. And that is that is the idea. We wanted to get to Vegas, and we're going to get to Vegas hopefully today. So let's do this. Get on the road. We've got 486 miles to go. Uh, we might need to sleep on the trip by the looks of it. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. The main thing is... We're heading to Vegas. Which is... Well, exactly what we want. That's what we want to do. Well, we're heading to Prim. But I mean, Prim is basically Vegas. It's like 10 miles apart. So we're going to do this drop off. We're going to take our loan. We're going to buy our depot buy our trucks, hire some drivers, and then we'll take it from there. Hopefully, we don't destroy Turn everything right. we've worked for. But, um, with taking the loan and with the money we've got, we should, should, uh, have enough money to sort of run the thing and see what happens. Do our deliveries, see how our drivers are doing, see if they are making money, if they're making enough money to cover their own expenses and hopefully make a bit of profit. Um, we have enough cushion, basically, to see what happens and we can act accordingly before we lose the company. So if things do go sour, then Turn left. we have enough cushion to save ourselves and get rid of the trucks and, well, not our truck, get rid of the other three trucks and the drivers and then just, I don't know, build it up again and try and do something a little bit different. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. At least we don't, we won't have to worry about finances for, for quite some time. Um, when we take that loan. So that's good. It, it'll, it'll be slightly nerve wracking buying those trucks and taking out that big loan. But like I say, it won't be too bad. Because we will have quite a bit of money to carry us over for... At least a few months. And, I mean, it won't take too long to see whether it's worth keeping those trucks or not. I mean, it should be. It should be worth keeping them, obviously. Um, that's how trucking companies work. But you never know. If, you, if your drivers aren't very good, um, and they don't have very good perk points or things like that, they could cost you money. So you don't know. A lot of it's going to ride on how good the drivers are. Anyway, we are on the motorway right now. And it's almost a straight shot through to Vegas. Why is this guy not giving me space? There we go. Thank you. Up to 65 miles an hour. And I tell you what, I actually like Gallup or Gallup. I, I still don't know one of those I should actually just research that but I like calling it Gallup because it sounds cool um, but I actually quite like Gallup and they've got some good jobs out of Gallup um, I might consider if we buy a another garage after the one that we're looking at buying now I might actually buy one in Gallup 
Although I think I might actually buy my, the next one up in like Washington or something. I think that'll be cool. I want it a bit more spread out. This one is going to be pretty close to our original one. Um, where I sort of work out of. Because our original headquarters or depot is in Flagstaff. And this one is going to be in Vegas. So they're pretty close together. Uh, but that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Because we're not upgrading the original one, we're buying a new one. And the reason for that, if you haven't joined us in the last few episodes, the reason why I'm not upgrading our new depot or our existing depot and I'm buying a new depot is to upgrade our existing one is $90,000 and that gives us three spots or an additional two spots because I occupy one of those spots which means for $90,000 you have three spots but I occupy one so effectively you're only getting two spots if you buy a new depot somewhere else you uh, are we gonna get pulled in no but I don't know what the hell's going on here this is bad accident man that killed momentum big time um, but we're allowed to bypass this and um, yeah so if you buy a new depot you get three slots for the same amount of money $90,000 so I'd rather just buy a new one and get three slots instead of upgrade the existing one and get two because then I can only buy two trucks and I've got enough money to buy three trucks well I've actually got enough money to buy four trucks when we take that loan but I'd, I'd need an extra depot for that and I don't have enough That's money strange. to do that so yeah, I mean, eventually, we'll probably upgrade our existing, or our original, our headquarters, per se. Um, we might have upgraded eventually, but I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know if it's worth it. If you're going to spend that amount of money, just spend it on something that gives you an extra slot. So I don't know if, even further along in the game, if it'll be worth it. I mean, if you're making money to the point where money doesn't really matter anymore then yeah then I'll do it just for sort of the sake of doing it because that is our headquarters effectively the other ones I I just look at as depots truck depots even though they say trucking headquarters on them uh, but yeah Go straight. we'll see I can't really imagine at the moment building up this company to a point where money wouldn't really matter that that seems like a a long 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 way away and it probably is and to be honest it kind of sounds unrealistic I, I'm not even sure that that is possible with this economy but we'll see um, we kind of need fuel but let's just have a quick look at the map is there anywhere better to stop for fuel because this seems very inconvenient to go in there uh not really no okay we'll have to go in here dang it Keep right, then take the exit right. Yeah, righty. Take the exit right. Don't really have a choice. Right turn ahead. Turn right. Are we allowed to turn right on red here? I think we are. That car just did. The one in front of us. That is a nice, nice pickup truck. I like that. I like the color as well. Oh, there's another one. I like that color even more. 
Alright, never got the opportunity to turn right on red. Um, because it's pretty busy around here. And I think we're getting fuel up here. Ooh, that's a nice Texaco trailer. Here we go. Um, apparently this is no entry, but you know what? I don't care. Alright, this should be about $400, I would guess. Yeah, uh, three fifty. Not too bad at all. I don't know where you're actually supposed to come into the service station. I think you're supposed to come in down here and then um, drive around. I'll try and remember that next time. Because all of this says in. Oh, there is a, a sign or a marking there that says you can go in that way. Alright, I want to do what? Turn left. Will do, boss. Dang it. I was hoping we we're gonna get the arrow there, but um, obviously not. So we'll wait. Is that a BMW in front of us? Can't really see at all. Oh, there we go. Yep, it's a BMW. Quite a nice one as well. Alright, on the road again. This is not a bad road at all. Um, I mean, scenery wise, yeah, not too much going on because that's just the nature of the area, but um, it's dual lane and 75 mile an hour speed limits. And it's pretty damn straight. Not much to complain about around here, I'll tell you that much. We do still have 380 miles to go. That is a lot. We're really going to have to get our foot down here. Get some miles under our belt. Alright, here we go. Up into 12th gear. Try and catch these guys ahead. There's a, what seems to be a Volvo barreling down. At warp speed next to us. Oh, that's not a Volvo, that's a Kenny. Oh, it's an empty trailer, that's why it's going that quick. Man, he's flying. He's doing like 80 miles an hour, that guy is. I'm still struggling to get up to 75 here. Well, I'm still struggling to get up to 70. But we'll be there soon. Well, not at the destination. I mean like at the speed limit. And we'll probably get told to pull into a way station or something as soon as we get up to the speed limit. There we go, 75 miles an hour, fantastic. Let's see how long we can hold that. Really not much going on around here. Oh, what is this? Just like a, I don't know, a creek or a small canyon or a thing. What do you actually call that? Because it's not a canyon. It's too small to be a canyon. It's like a creek? I don't know. Seem to be catching these trucks right now. Pull over into the fast lane so we don't have issues. 
And there's no one behind us, so it doesn't really matter that much. What are we averaging on gas mileage? Got 163 gallons, and we can do 864 miles. Uh, four miles per gallon at the moment, and an average of 4.3. That is not bad at all. 4.3 miles a gallon. Pretty good. I'm not sure where we're going to put our next perk point, because after this delivery, we're going to unlock another perk point. And, um... I don't know where to put it. I think I'm just going to take the... I think we've got one more point to take in Hazardous Cargo. And I think I'm just going to do that because they pay really, really well. And then after that, we'll probably start putting points into like high value. Um, I don't know if it's worth putting a lot of points into just in time deliveries but i think high value cargo would Don't be stay. worth it uh it's a drop down to 65 miles an hour oh this is nice vegetation that changed pretty damn quickly but this this looks nice this is it's green it's not desert it looks so freaking good i like this um now there's a car next to us we can't move over that's fine we'll just stick in this lane for now um what was I saying? Can't remember. I lost my, my train of thought now. Nope. Keep left. Alrighty. Yep, I really can't remember what I was talking about. I think it was something important. Oh yeah, poke points. Uh, so yeah, I think we've got one more in the hazardous cargo and the hazardous cargo they're interesting loads and they usually pay pretty damn well uh, so i think we're gonna grab that i say i think there's only one more left and um yeah maybe high value cargo the just in time cargo i find doesn't always pay that well unless it's like a high value or a dangerous goods cargo that needs to be there in a short period of time um then it pays pretty well, but I don't know. I think high value would be better. Or maybe even fuel economy, because we could really do with saving money, not just earning money. Now we can do 75 miles an hour right now, but this van decided that he's just going to sit there at 65, and uh, we can't do anything about it. Come on, dude, get moving. move dude and you know what people do this in real life and they just sit there I mean I don't drive a truck in real life but um, I mean when driving just driving your car around and people do do that they go into the fast lane and they just sit there and 10 or 15 miles an hour below the speed limit and they just don't care and the entire world needs to go around them um, and they're completely oblivious don't to the fact I mean I know this is AI I'm just making a point um, that it does happen in real life and it's really really frustrating uh, where people are just completely oblivious of what goes on around them and they don't realize that they've got an entire queue behind them in the fast lane and i think it's also people that really don't know the rules of the road and i don't know how they got their licenses in the first place because it is illegal to do that um i don't think they get that there's fast lanes and slow lanes and if you want to be doing that speed then go into the slow lane because that's where you're supposed to be And talking about going to the slow lane, we will do that right now, even though we're doing the speed limit. And 
we're not creating a queue behind us, um, it's still the ethical thing to do. Don't hog the fast lane. Although in trucking, I sometimes do because the AI is idiots and I don't want to be changing lanes left, right and center all the time. Because in the slow lane, you generally get stuck be behind someone that just slams on the brakes every two minutes. Go straight. Oh, there's a Mini Cooper. Well, case in point. So it goes slow enough for me to have to slow down. And um, the moment I slow down, he speeds up, which is fantastic. So why did you hit the brakes in the first place? Absolute case in point right there. Alrighty, we've got 193 miles to go, so we're, we're making some good time right now. We really are. Even though the AI is being a little bit annoying. I mean, the AI is always, always being annoying. But um, it just feels like they're being a little bit more annoying than usual on this trip. Phoenix coming up. And Wickenburg or something. What was that? Yeah, Wickenburg and Phoenix, but we're not going that way. There we go. Still 75 miles an hour and that guy just decided to slam on the brakes. If I was behind him, I mean, I would be either smashing into him um, or I would have to like avoid him and I could have an accident or damage my truck or I don't know lose control something it won't be good and there's no reason for that car to do that like no reason at all to be there was no speed limit change nothing he just decided it's a good place to slam on the brakes and that's why I don't sit behind traffic in the slow lane because it's freaking dangerous. What truck is that? I don't know, but it would look kind of cool. Uh, not the truck, the, the trailer. Uh, Kingman coming up. So it's going to be a bit of a slowdown here. This guy's running with an empty trailer. That can get expensive. I hate, I absolutely hate doing empty driving okay never mind there's a car trying to come up the inside and you know what I'm just gonna let him there we go um yeah empty empty driving really 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 sucks okay we're getting off here Keep right. Then take the exit right. Take the exit right. I mean, on the... On the economy mod that we're running right now... Running empty trailers around would be very, very painful. But... Yeah, I mean, even in a in a normal like playthrough on on the vanilla game without the like difficult economy mod, right. even then it's painful to be running around empty. Um, so yeah, in in the situation we are at the moment, that would not be fun at all. You'd be burning through a lot of money doing that. Right, there's a rest area coming up. We need to sleep in four hours time. Um, so I want to see where we can get to. Dang, there's actually nothing here. We might have to sleep here. Wait, no, 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 no. Trip time, two hours, 21 minutes. And um, we only need to sleep in four hours. So we can actually make it to our destination without sleeping. It's fine. We're going to skip. 
and we're just going to head all the way to our destination. Which is fantastic, because I actually thought we we're going to have to sleep, and I think the the game sort of gave us enough time to sleep, because we're estimated to arrive 5 o'clock on Tuesday, uh, which is today. So, in about two hours' time. And, um... The load is only expected Wednesday by 10 o'clock in the morning. So... Yeah, I think the game sort of did... Uh, what would you say? Calculate for us to sleep in between? Uh, but it turns out we don't have to. But we did make good time on this trip. Uh, we didn't have many issues along the way. We didn't have many slowdowns along the way. We didn't have to stop at a way bridge at all. Um, yet. I don't know if there's any more way bridges ahead. There might be, but... So far, there was only one, I think. And they let us through, though, so... That's all good. Can't complain about that at all. Uh, Aquafina. Right. Oh, down to 65. I think I was doing 65. I just dropped down to 55. Could have been doing 75. What? Something power. I think I've seen that advert before. If I did, it had to be on, like, Google or something on YouTube. I don't know. Definitely not on TV. Not in South Africa. Alright, this is... Interesting. There seems to be quite a bit of landscape change right now. A lot of, like, hills and stuff going on. I want to have a look on the right hand side after we sort of pass this little mound. Yeah. A lot of sort of hilly area going on right now. Not sure why this is a 65 mile an hour road. Uh, it's a nice smooth open big road. I think 75 miles an hour would be okay. But hey, there's a lot of roads in... California where you think 80 miles an hour should be fine and you're only allowed to do 55 so that really really does suck that's why I do try and stay out of California um, very very nice place to drive around um, but the speed limits really do suck I mean we will go down there because I want to do some of those coastal routes there's some beautiful beautiful coastal routes over there but um drop down to 55 and um, yeah I, I really want to go do some coastal routes over in Cali we might actually try and get over there uh, when we're done in Vegas we'll try and route over to the coastline in California Try and get some of those really nice roads done. Just a bit of a change of scenery. We've been hanging around the desert for a long, long time. And I think it's time to move over that way. We'll take the 55 mile an hour speed limit over there. Um, well, what we're doing over here as well right now. Uh, but I think this is just because it's a bit of a windy road. Um, but we'll take the 55 mile an hour speed limit as a sort of bonus. Means we've got a lot more time to look at the beautiful scenery. And this looks like Vegas. Head over to the left hand lane. As if I can do 80 right now, coming into town, 
all the way here, 55, and as soon as you get into town. Oh yeah, you can do 80 miles an hour down here. Okay, great. Keep left, then turn left. Turn left. Stay green, please stay green. Yeah, there we go. That one's Keep definitely right. not going to stay green. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, just too late. I don't know if we've got turn right on red here. I think we do. Let's see. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think we need to stay left though. Oh, uh, there's a pyramid in the background there and the Sphinx or whatever it's called. Red Wolf Hotel and Casino. Turn left. These roads over here are huge. I think it'll be Keep quite left. scary driving then around a place like Vegas in real life. I think it'll be quite nerve-wracking. I really do think so. I mean, how if you don't know the roads, if you're there for the first time, how would you know what lane to be in? And if you get stuck in the wrong lane, I mean, it could take you forever to get back to that point and get to where you want to go. Alrighty. Oh, there's an airplane landing. Very cool. Kinda heading... Oh, this is 30 miles an hour. Kinda heading out of Vegas again. Well, we're still very much in Vegas. Um, we're on our way out of Vegas. Uh, over to Prim, where we're gonna... Oh, there's a Blue Wolf Hotel and Casino. Hmm. Competition? Uh, but anyway, we are gonna go over to Prim, drop this off, and then we're gonna come back here and um, buy our depot, which... We might actually be able to see just over on the right hand side there. Uh, let's see. Ah, I think we're going to turn before we can actually see it. Dang it. Take the exit left. And why are you stopping? It's just down there. There we go. I think that's the roof of it. That is going to be our new depot. Yep, it looks like it. Anyway, let's get going. Uh, yeah, so I think that's going to be it. That one uh, that we could see the roof of there, I think that was the building that we're going to buy. Which is kind of exciting. It's actually very exciting. Oh, geez, that was a big bump. Alrighty, last little stretch, 20 miles. And then, things are going to get interesting. Very interesting, in fact. And we are going to buy Freightliners. The exact truck that we're driving right now. Our entire fleet are going to drive these trucks. And not as powerful. And they're only going to have six-speed gearboxes. And they're not going to be painted the same because that's just very expensive. But we'll give them some sort of a paint job. Um, but yeah, so they're not going to be fully kitted um, like ours is. They're not going to have the same tires, not the same wheels, not the same paint job, not the same engine, not the same gearbox. Uh, they're basically going to be baseline models. As cheap as we can get them. Uh, that is the idea. I don't know if it actually makes a difference if difference if we put more powerful engines and Keep right. like more useful gearboxes right. in the trucks for the AI. I don't know if it makes any difference at all. Take the exit right. 
I actually don't think so. Turn right. Yeah, yeah. I know you're tired. We'll probably come and sleep here and fill up with fuel after the drop off. Because uh, we need to. We've got another hour and a half before we need to sleep. So we'll probably do, do that there. Have a sleep, fill up with fuel, and drive back up to Vegas. I mean, I'm really not going to try and get a job from here up to Vegas. We're just going to drive there. It's 20 miles. Right. To um, That'll be a little bit ridiculous trying to get a job for that distance. I mean, you might actually be able to, but we're not going to do that. Turn right. All right, here we go. You have Looks like we're delivering at the back somewhere there. Uh, yeah. All right, let's do this. Uh, yep. This is a nice looking truck. I really do like it. That should just about do it. There we go. And um, handbrake on, truck off, disconnect. Beautiful. 490 miles, 9 hours, 40 minutes, 107.9 gallons of fuel, $2,382, 804xp. We got an upgrade there to level 13. Oh, which is great, and we're going to grab that last one there. And that is going to be flammable solids. Uh, magnesium, safety matches, among others. Uh, interesting. Spontaneously combustible aluminium. Phosphorus. Dangerous when wet. Or sodium, calcium, potassium. Cool. Okay, we're going to do that. And I don't know, from then on, we'll probably do high value and fragile or fuel economy. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. We're going to do that for now. And just out of interest sake, I'm not going to do it. I just want to check. Is there anything that goes into Vegas? No. Okay. Anyways, uh, there are some cool jobs though. Mercuric chloride. Aromatics. That pays really well. Man, that's cool. Okay, so we're going to have some good jobs that we'll be able to do. Let's see what comes out of Las Vegas. Yeah, they've always got good jobs. Um, clothes, fireworks. Ooh, fireworks could be fun. Uh, cars, cars, furniture. Well, they, they don't necessarily have, like, good jobs. They just have a lot. There's always a good choice out of Vegas. Um, but anyway... We are going to get out of here. Um, in the next episode, 
We are, that was a bit of a long one, 40 minutes that episode was, um, but in the next episode we're going to drive over to Vegas and take our loan, buy our workshop, buy our, our trucks, and all of that good stuff, we've been waiting for that for a long long time, so we're finally going to do it in the next episode, so uh, yeah, I'm going to see you guys there, but thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, if you did make sure to smash that like button, and I will see you all next time!